Hey everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenger. Welcome back to my channel and something a little bit different than the usual material and content on my channel. You know I like to do reviews, but I'm really, really behind on all of my reviews I would have until September if I was doing one a week. So I've decided to do a week of reviews. Um, this is all I'm doing this week. I'm filming back to back, nothing but reviews. Every day this week, there's going to be a review. Tuesday, there'll be two videos because I still have my gardening video. So that way I can put the reviews behind me and some of them are great products. So what am I going to review this week? Makeup. You guys haven't seen me put makeup in quite some time. <laughs> I have a makeup video. I have a bird feeder that has a camera. I have a new Parsonver watch with a giveaway. I have a tiny handheld vacuum and an entire sheen haul, clothes and some jewelry. So you've already watched makeup, watch and vacuum. My next item is a bird feeder for your backyard that also has a camera and it's meant to enhance your bird watching experience. I love it. You probably all know by now that I am a nature lover. You've seen me in my garden doing all sorts of crazy stuff, but you've also seen me raise a bird. And that was Jasper, the blue jay. And the link is up here if you want to watch. So I love birds. I do have quite a few bird figurines in my curio and lamps with birds here and over there. And I have plates with birds, I have a china pattern with birds, and I put a new um, backing to my secretary that has birds on it. So clearly, I like birds. I love to feed them, I love to listen to them, and I love to watch them. But I'm not too familiar with American Northeast birds. I'm going to introduce you to the market leading brand when it comes to, are you ready for this? a bird feeder that also has an HD camera and utilizes artificial intelligence to identify the birds for you. It's the Bill and Tan bird feeder. I'm so excited about this. I really am. Most of you probably never heard of them, but they are a specialty brand, okay? Um, they specialize in bird feeding with cameras on it and I've always been very intrigued by those. They are Wi-Fi connected and this is solar powered so you don't have to connect it to any kind of power source. The sun will take care of it. The camera will feed off the electricity on the battery and it's connected to an app and with the app you can get notification anytime a bird lands on the feeder so you can watch it live in the comfort of your home and it will also record and store the little video on a cloud. But it has the AI that will allow you to identify birds. And there are a couple of birds in my yard that come in and I have no idea what they are. So I'm really, really looking forward to this. I'm going to open it, show you what it comes with, assemble it, put it up in the yard and then we'll wait. We're gonna have to wait because I don't know if I'm gonna get birds right away. <laughs> that would be cool if I did, but I'm assuming that between the setup and everything, it's gonna take a couple of hours, so I don't know. Uh, let's open it and see what's in the box, what comes with it. This is the Bird HI, and I'm gonna put a picture right here. And they have two other ones, that's the Hummer HI, that's just for hummingbirds. And the other one, it's the Bird HI Ultra, which is basically the one that I have plus a hummingbird. Mine has a bath, but you don't have to use the bath. You don't have to put water in it. You can just use it to put fruit, like half oranges, whatever you feel your birds may enjoy. So let's look at it. Okay, here we go. I am so excited about this. 
and I'm hoping that my mother can also get the app on her phone and watch not only the birds coming to my yard but my yard as it grows so here's one box and in it is the solar panel so clearly this is going to require some kind of assembly and they do provide you the uh, screwdriver instruction and some kind of charging device let's find out what I got to charge first a uh, strap which I understand is if you want to put your bird feeder on a tree trunk and you don't want to drill into the tree uh, you use that and I'm gonna put it on in the back of the yard on that big pole I have coming out of my um, raised bed so I'm definitely gonna use that here's one of the parts first impression solid plastic here's another one Okay. This is actually fairly big, which is good. That means that I'm not going to have to constantly refill the tank. Okay, so here's the main component with the camera on it. And clearly you can put the food in here and the food also comes out this way. So I'm going to assume that that's how it works okay and the last part is this which are the feeders with the little ledge for the bird to stand on and this additional part right here is the bird bath so you don't have to use um, the bird bath you don't have to put water in it I have a lot of um, I have to remove the little rail. I have um, a lot of bird baths already in my yard. So what I'm gonna do with this is probably add more seeds or I'm going to put fruits. Cause some birds enjoy fruits. Okay, so these are the actual feeders. And then the last one is this, which is the bracket if you wanna affix it to a wall. Um, you know on your patio side of your house garage whatever this is serious metal right there so first impression very well built it looks like it's going to be a sturdy um, item let me see what needs to be charged because clearly it hasn't been charged yet you know as I managed to uh, catch birds <laughs> catch birds uh, get to see birds on camera. I'm definitely going to add that footage to my weekly gardening video. So there is a, I moved the camera out of the, uh, the whole thing. Um, I'm going to use it eventually to install the app because there's a barcode here. Uh, but what I'm going to do is pre-charge it because I'm assuming that you have to kind of charge it prior because the solar panel is not going to capture as much um, power as you want it as soon as you put it up, right? So I'm going to put that on the charger and then assemble the rest. And I know that some of you are already asking yourself, how much is this thing? <laughs> it's $169. It's not, you know, cheap, <laughs> but it's technology. Um, this I can see for bird lovers, anyone who really loves birds and you know somebody who has multiple bird feeders, in front of the house and they can watch the birds from their living room. Um, even a person who loves birds but cannot go outside anymore, like I'm thinking applications like nursing homes, that would be great if they had, you know, in the, in the community room, they had like a screen where the patients would just sit and watch the birds up close. That would be great. Um, so many applications, a school, um, kids, homeschooling, people who want to learn about birds. Um, you could even take it wherever you go. If you go to a different area, you take it with you and you get to see the birds from that region. There's so many different applications. I just, 
If you're a bird lover, you understand what I'm talking about. If birds are not your thing, you're probably like, you already clicked off anyway. <laughs> so let's uh, put it together um, real quick. First things first is the assembly of the solar panel. So the solar panel is on the um, ball. Is it a ball bearing? I'm not sure. So if you want to orient it, you got to loosen this part right here, and then you can move it whichever way you want. Mine, um, I'm facing south where I'm putting it, so it's just going to stay straight like this. Okay. Uh, once that's done, you got to put that on the base, like this. So obviously I'm going to have to change the position. And then you use those screws. Already lost the holes right here. There's one screw and they give you... Um, little bolts fairly easy so far Stone. Next. Next, I'm going to put the top right here. Notice that the top has an opening okay so that's where you refill the food and this part here slides this way so when you want to refill it you just slide this forward fill it up with your food and close again and again this is a review right so easy to assemble so far and really sturdy it it's well made that's all i can say it is well made so there's a little uh cubicle here or part for the camera and you'll see that it moves um it tilts so i guess it depends on how much you want to see of the background compared to the birds so you can tilt it uh what's the next one the next one is putting the um feeders on and for that it looks like all i have to do is just slide it in there we go. So that is the bird feeder. I don't suspect this would happen, but this is one of the things that I've noticed. Like this is really attached once you lock it in place. This, however, comes off easily. I'm not gonna, you know, complain or anything, but I'm wondering, not that a bird would grab it and, and move it up, but if I have some kind of critter that comes up there on the pole, like a, because uh, you know, squirrels, right? Uh, I wonder if they would be able to knock this thing out. Um, I don't know. It's fairly big. It really is big. So it, what it means to me is that I'm not gonna have to refill it every single day or even every other day. Um, I'm seeing some holes here where you screw things in but I don't have anything that applies to that. I'm going to assume that's for the other feeders, the ones for the um, hummingbirds. Uh, but yeah, that's installed. Okay, so if you were doing it on the bracket, 
basically this goes on the wall and they do give you a template so you know exactly where to punch the holes in your wall and then all you have to do is just um, slide it in so it would be a little bit off the wall by about two inches it's not on the wall I'm not gonna put it on the wall well I shouldn't say that you never know because I don't know if my Wi-Fi is gonna go all the way to the other side of the garden if it doesn't then I'm gonna have to install it somewhere around the deck um, area so that I can see my birds so so far it's well made um, I don't have any issue with it except maybe like this little thing here but I, I don't think once the food is in there I don't see it popping up if there's a big burst of wind or anything it's well made it's not ugly um, you know if you put it in an area where you have greenery mine won't but it won't bother me it's kind of like disappearing um, you know I mean yeah there's a panel away on top but I think it's well made I'm very excited I'm telling you I'm very excited about this let me get the camera and when I come back I have to follow all the instructions to install it on my phone it works with both uh, iOS and Android so Google Play for me to get the app and then I'm going to connect it to my Wi-Fi and once I'm connected I'll go to the back of the yard and install it and then we'll wait okay so I took the camera off the charger so now you can uh, see what it looks like so the camera is right here at the bottom and over here on top is the motion detector um, so whenever a bird comes in it will start filming my understanding is that it doesn't um, it doesn't do long distance so if you have somebody coming into your yard it will not start recording so this is not the same thing as a security camera uh, you're gonna be able to see the back of your yard or the front of your house wherever you put it you're gonna be able to see the background but this is not to be used as a security camera where you can see if you have an intruder or somebody's coming into your yard okay it's not a replacement this is strictly for the birds and your enjoyment okay so this is the part where I have to uh, follow directions so the first thing you need to do is download the app so we're gonna go and scan this guy right here and you can't miss it it's that B with the orange background so I'm gonna install this and wait for it to upload and it's uploaded so I'm going to open it allow and what you want to do is press the camera button the camera has this little uh, cap right here that stops it from getting humidity or whatever that's where you have the charger and there's also a slot for a little micro SD um, if you want to record and store your videos but there's a little button right here so I'm gonna press that and you got to press it for three seconds and that's going to turn the camera on so let me press one two three and you see welcome the to smart battery camera here we go please open your mobile app to start adding devices okay so we're here to add the device uh, I agree and sign up or login okay so I gotta sign up so I'm signed up and they give you a pairing tutorial if you need it uh, but I'm going to follow the prompts here and I'm looking at the camera and you can see this like I don't know if you can tell but there's like little red uh, lights all around it it's cute okay uh, add a device so we're gonna press the plus sign right here add a device okay battery camera and apparently I need to plug it in in order to do that so let me go back to the kitchen next they give you this little gizmo here and you're supposed to go in here there's a little hole you'll see it right here and you're supposed to press this and that's the reset button and you stay there for three to five seconds welcome to smart battery camera okay here we go please open your mobile app to start adding devices so now I gotta scan the QR code that's right here 
QR code was scanned successfully and the network is being configured. Okay, and now I got to enter the password for my network. Here we go, next step. The router connection is successful. So it's establishing the connection with the server. The device has been added successfully. Please start using it. Oh, great. So I'm going to give it a name. Okay, and here we go. America, New York. Done. This is easy. Okay, here we go. New camera. I'm fully charged. Um, and then playback, events, share. Oh, I can share. This is great. How exciting. <laughs> I'm super excited about this. And this is a look, the setup was a nothing. It really was a nothing. It was super easy. I had robot vacuums that required way more technical skills in order to um, install them. So I'm going to go in the garden. I'm going to place it. Um, first, I got to put the food in it. And then we're going to wait and see if we get birds. And I picked this one because it has the um, sunflower seeds in it. And that's what blue jay is like. Now, a blue jay is my favorite. They are. I love blue jays. But I love any kind of bird. Uh, peacocks, blue jays. Um, the one that I love the most. And I've seen them only a few times in this area, but I have seen them at the uh, um, great titmouse. Um, they are the cutest thing. I put a picture right here, but this super aggressive. That's the problem. I'm trying to anticipate any possible question. Uh, half of the bag went into the feeder. And this bag is 4.5 pounds or 2.05 kilos. So if half of the bag went in there, that's 2.25 pounds or uh, one kilos or one kilo. Okay, so that's not bad. So we're in the back of my yard uh, and we got a, a lot of bees feasting on what appears to be oregano flowers. There's a lot of bees. Love it. Okay, uh, tomatoes right here. Uh, lettuce is done. Uh, we got the black eye Susan and some uh, daisies. Showing you the yard while I'm at it because I know that not everybody looks at the uh, videos. expected it's too far from the house um, so it's not catching the Wi-Fi I'm gonna have to take it down and bring it to the deck oh, and I'm gonna have later <laughs> okay so it wasn't reaching the Wi-Fi all the way in the back so I had to put it uh, on the deck so when you don't reach the Wi-Fi and I can't speak for your Wi-Fi but ours has been spotty forever it's a uh, um, Verizon. It's it just does what it needs to do within the house, but once you get outside, not working all that well. But what you do is that you basically keep on you move it closer to your Wi-Fi, and you keep refreshing the screen, and it's going to keep on saying uh, offline, offline, offline until it no longer does. So I could have put it um, in the vegetable garden on my big arch thing. But I didn't like the way it looked, so I ended up putting it on my deck so you can see what it looks like now. And now when you open the screen, this is actually live. You can enlarge the screen and these buttons where you can record. OK, so you can record what's going on and you can speak as well. So you can record the sound and you can talk do all sorts of things. So um, so far it seems to be working. Let me see if I can enlarge. Yes. I want to be able to show you that this is live. You should be able to see 
the water move a little bit, maybe? No, not really, okay. But there's no wind, so that's why. How cool is this? <laughs> it's really cool. So I'm here to review it, right? There's pros and cons, like every review that I do. Um, and I think it's important that I lay everything down so that you can make a good decision as to whether or not this is something you want to purchase for yourself or purchase as a gift. Here are the cons. Number one, this is not an affordable gadget. I want to be very clear. This is something that is a little bit on the higher end when it comes to gadgets, okay? On their website, it's about $200. Right now on Amazon, it's $169. But that's just for the feeder and the camera. When you just do that, you buy the feeder, it comes with the camera, you set it up, you only have access to live feed. And I'm gonna show you another live feed because I think I showed that before. Um, so you only get live feed and you can record 
a live feed. And if you have um, a squirrel that you know is on your live feed and you see the squirrel on your feeder, you can still use the alarm so it can, you know, and I'm going to show you that as well. Um, so you can get the squirrel to go away if you don't want the squirrel to bother your seed. Uh, you can record whatever is on the screen and you can also use the voice function. Um, allowing you to speak. So maybe you want to speak to somebody who's right outside the feeder. If you have a backyard, for instance, and you want to talk to your husband, um, you know, who's in the yard while you're in the kitchen or wherever, you can do that. Um, some people talk to the animals as well. Um, if you want to chase a squirrel or if you want to say hello to a blue jay, you can do that. And you can also take screenshots um, when you're on the live feed. But that's only if you buy the product and do nothing else. If you want the notification that a bird just arrived at the feeder, and if you want the identification of the bird, you're going to need to pay an additional fee for that. And it's not a huge amount, but after spending the money on the feeder itself, that may be a problem for some people. And it might be a problem as a gift. So. There's different levels. You can pay per week. It's under $2 per week. Or you can pay for the month or three months or six months or one year. If you don't pay for the notification slash bird identification, you're not going to get alarms on your phone that a bird has arrived at your feeder. You're only going to get access to the live feed, which is fine because we did that for, you know, the first couple of days and then I ended up paying for it because I just didn't want to spend my life looking at the live feed, okay? Uh, and I really wanted the bird identification. So you have to pay for that. That, again, can be a little bit more money. I got the yearly one, so the entire year is $49.99. So it's an additional $50 on top of the price of the feeder. Then there's either cloud or SD card. So if you want to save the footage, let's say for instance you're doing research, you can either save the um, footage that the camera picked up or that you recorded yourself on the cloud or you can do it on SD card. Either way you can read them through your phone. The cloud is $29.99 per year. So now we have $80 more than the regular price of the feeder if you're going to add the bird notification and recognition plus the cloud. So that's going to be $29.99 plus $49.99 for the year. You don't have to do it for a year. You can do it by the week. Okay. If you don't want to pay for the cloud, you just buy a micro SD card, you put it into the camera, and then it's going to save your footage anyway. So that is the major con for me. That it's not like you buy the product and this is it. It's you buy the product and then if you want the enhanced features, you have to pay extra. If you buy it as a gift to someone, that someone may be upset about it. Like, wait a minute, you just gave me this thing, but I still got to pay 80 bucks if I want to get um, all of the features for an entire year. Some people may be hesitant in doing that. So what you can do um, is maybe give them a gift card. <laughs> In addition, uh, if you think they're going to be upset or you just pay for it, um, you know, when you help them set it up. Some people may not care. They'd be like, oh my God, this is so cool. I can't wait to pay for it and get to see the birds. But I can see how it's a turn off for some people. So that's the major, major con, all right? The biggest one. The second one is really an engineering issue that I encountered uh, that most people wouldn't have a problem with, but it's the kind of stuff that bothers me a little bit. It's the way the bath water is designed. So you have the uh, tank, the reservoir, and then, you know, the uh, uh, seeds go into the first tray. And then to that tray, you attach the water tray. When you have a mix for uh, bird feed, you're going to have the little millet type um, seeds, and then you're going to have the big chunks like the peanuts and the sunflowers. And what happens is that the little guys like the sparrows, for instance, they're really aggressive when it comes to food. And when they want to get to something, they will literally shove everything out of the way. So, and you can see them on camera going like this, moving stuff. So they're moving the stuff and it ends up flying and landing into that little water bathtub for the birds. 
So it's cute at first until you realize that by the end of the day, you have about 80 seeds that are going to go to waste because they're all wet. And then the water is all murky, so you got to change the whole water again. I wish there was like a shield in front of the tub uh, for the water, so it's less likely to have seeds go into it. Or maybe have um, a difference in height, so with a ramp or an incline, so that if the seed lands on that little wall, the seed goes back into the tray. Um, so it's just a matter of, you know, moving it up a little bit, but I understand that if you move it up, then what happens is that the camera will look at a wall, not your backyard. <laughs> so it's a whole bunch of stuff that I'm thinking about in terms of how do I keep the water clean? Um, should the tray for the water be totally on the side instead of in front of it? But then you wouldn't see the birds bathing, right? So I don't know. Bill and Tan, you got to think about that. Um, a shield, a little plastic shield to stop the stuff from going into the water, I think would be pretty good. Um, but that would be it. That's it. These are the cons. The Wi-Fi, I can't really talk about it because everybody's Wi-Fi is going to be different. Um, you know, it's depending on the company you have, how far you put it, what bandwidth you have, uh, the nearest tower, you may be in an area that doesn't have good coverage. So I can't really talk about the Wi-Fi. I know that mine doesn't go all the way to the back of the yard and you saw that I had to move it to um, the railing on the deck, which is, I don't care. It's nice because I get to see my whole backyard in the background. So now let's talk about the pros. It's super cool. <laughs> It really is super cool to see the birds up close, to watch them eat, sometimes you watch them fight, and then you have the occasional intruder, you know, Mr. Chipmunk or Mr. or Mrs. Squirrel getting in there, but they're cute anyway, so it doesn't really bother me to have them come in and try to scavenge whatever they can. Uh, but it's, it's really awesome. So let me show you how this works. And I'm hoping that, um, my camera is going to capture and you're not going to be uh, completely blurry. So when you get a notification and you push on it, what's going to happen is that you're going to see this screen. And right here you see what says event. Okay, so you click on that. And these are all the events. So I have three here that are new ones that I haven't watched yet. And then every other event, which is notification, is there. And they also have their bird identification. So I'm just going to go down and here are the latest three they downloaded. I'm going to look at the first one right here. Oh, I haven't seen that and it looks like it's a cardinal. So we're going to watch the video right here. So I hope you can see it. Yeah, it is a cardinal. So the next one was this one. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click on view the video. And this is uh, one of my doves. You can make it larger if you want. Just click here. And there she is. This is so cool. So now it's got a clear shot, right, of my dove. And then right here it will give you possible identifications. Because again, I paid for the notification and identification. And it's telling me uh 81% sure that it's a Socorro dove or it could be at 8% a Zenaida dove or it could be a morning dove at 3%. So I personally believe that it's a morning dove and it's not that I want to fight AI or anything it's just that the angle of the picture and the way the light is, it makes it look a little bit reddish and they really are not. So I know it's a morning dove. So what you can do is that you report the issue and you basically um, tell them that the result is not correct and it's teaching AI to recognize the birds. When it's correct and you want to know more, you would then click more and for that particular bird, it takes you to Wikipedia which I think is really cool. So if you want to learn about um, birds, this is perfect. 
I have so much footage, so much footage of birds, squirrels, chipmunks that came in. Um, so that's basically how it works. And then there's other features, you know, if you go to me um, right here, you can do all the setups that you want. You can check your albums. Um, with the albums, you can look at the local videos. This is where you've recorded stuff yourself. Or you can do at the video snapshots where you took pictures. Because remember, there's like a, a picture button. Videos downloaded from the cloud. They saved in there. And videos downloaded from the camera. So this is a live view of my yard. I'm, I'm not on the notification or anything. I'm on live view. So if I click anywhere on the screen, you're going to see a bunch of stuff, right? This alarm here, let me press it. Okay, you heard that okay that's if you have a squirrel or any kind of critter that comes in that's not a bird and you don't want it there you basically train them to go away it's not super loud and it only rings one time this is where you could take a snapshot so if you have a very nice view of a bird as you're watching live you just click on that and it will take a picture and it will save to your phone this is the button to record this is the sound button so you can hear what's going on outside and then this is the talk button right there. If you want to speak to the animals, <laughs> like Dr. Um, what's his name? Is it Doolittle? Um, like the doctor who speaks to the animals. Or if you want to talk to somebody who's in the yard, you can do that as well. So the pros. It's an awesome device. It works. It takes very good uh, clear pictures. It also has a night camera and which you can toggle on and off. So if you want to look at your yard uh, at night, you can do that. Uh, it's like, you know, a night vision. Uh, that's pretty cool if you have animals that come in at night, like um, raccoons, for instance. Because there's no doubt if you live in an area that has a lot of wildlife, it's a matter of time before you get a raccoon that figures out this food up there. And that would be pretty cool because you get to see a big raccoon. I have raccoons in my area. I wouldn't be surprised if I get to catch a raccoon at some point on camera. I think I mentioned that at the beginning of the video. I think that this is, while it could be considered a luxury item, for somebody who wants to enhance their bird watching experience, it's perfect. If you have somebody who's elderly and is absolutely passionate about bird watching and can no longer do it, what a wonderful gift for that person. If they can, you know, maneuver the phone and, and all of that. And I said, what a great thing to have at a nursing home. Imagine in a waiting room where you have four or five monitors that are on constant live feed and they can see the birds come in. Um, for school or even in the hospital you know if the hospital's got a, a a nice garden area and a whole bunch of those bird feeders you could have like a whole network of camera feed on the tv in the hospital room where people can just watch any camera there's so many different applications for that people who research birds People who live near reserves, you probably have a lot of exotic and unusual birds coming to your area. What a perfect way to look at them. So again, I love birds. So for me, this is great. If birds are not your thing, it's a totally useless item. Um, but if you know somebody or you yourself enjoy birds and nature, what a great concept. I'm giving it an A+. I'm super excited about this. I can't stop looking at my birds. And actually, I'm pretty happy because I finally got a cardinal that came in. So that was the male. I'm waiting for the females. So far, we got sparrows, um, blue jays, male only so far. Cardinal, male only so far. The doves, uh, they come in as couples. They're so cute. So I have a, a few couples because I can't see the difference in patterns. Um, so I think I have two different couples that are coming in and of course the uh, uh, chipmunks and um, squirrel and that's just in three days I can only imagine with time 
how many more I'm going to get to have the pleasure to watch feed themselves and not interact with them, but be really close to them. The camera is HD, so it's very good pixelation. There's not much of a delay. The sound quality is good. You can really hear, you know, the rummaging through the seeds. I just think it's a great concept. And I want to thank Bilantan for sending it to me. Um, this is really cool. This is really cool. This is one of the products that I've done over the years that brings me the most joy. <laughs> and I know it sounds ridiculous um, and that most people would not even think of getting this, but a lot of people I know enjoy birds in the backyard and enjoy feeding birds. I mentioned early in the video that they also have the hummingbird feeders, so those are a little bit different. You know, they have the little hummingbird flowers, you put the nectar in it. I would be interested to see if there is a um, feature on the video recording where you can put it in slow motion. Now, that would be really cool, but I don't have the uh, hummingbird feeder. I've seen hummingbird in my area, but they're not very common. But anyway, I'm just rambling. I'm just so happy with this. So you just get a, a, a notification and it tells you bird has been detected uh, on your feeder, give it a moment, and within three seconds, four seconds, you have access to the video. Um, I give it two giant thumbs up. It's one of the best products I've had to review, and it, it really is one of the best pr products I've had to review. Um, somebody asked me in a question for um, a future Q&A that I'm going to do probably this weekend actually. Uh, what was, out of all the products I've reviewed, which ones or which one made me the uh, happiest or the one that I was using the most? And I, and I can answer that now. The bike. I, I'm going on the bike tonight. Um, I love my useful bike. And this is going to be number two. Because it's great. <laughs> So I'm really excited about this. And again, thank you, Belantan. And by the way, the customer support is awesome. They are really responsive. I had issues at the beginning um, with getting the notification. They, they guide me through it. And we were in constant communication. Like they were sending me email, like, how are you doing? Is this working? And they really are responsive. So if you have any issue, don't fear the customer support. They, they're there. They're there for you. Um, I love it. If I have a discount code, I'll put it down below. So check the uh, description box and that would be it. So that would be review number four. We got one more to go. This was the Bilantan Bird Feeder H High HD, I believe. That is a strictly birds and bath, no uh, hummingbirds. I love it. Absolutely love it. And I hope you do too and that you get one either for yourself or as a gift because this is really awesome. What a world we live in. <laughs> I'm just loving this technology. Awe-inspiring. It really is. It's amazing. It's amazing. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow for my last review and hope you enjoyed this one and looking at my birds and my backyard. You can subscribe right here in the corner and click that bell button so you don't miss another video. And you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, once in a while, I will put footage of the latest birds, you know, after this video has been posted. But definitely every Tuesday for my gardening video, at the end, I will put a little, a little montage of the birds that I've captured that week. So there will be a little add-on if you want to hop on that. The garden videos are really cool. I don't talk. It's all music and sound of the birds singing. Uh, that's it. Yeah, I like that format. Um, so that's it. Check all my links down below. Facebook and Instagram at My Great Challenge, Etsy Shops, Patreon. All the info is down below. I'll see you tomorrow for our last review. Talk to you later. Bye.